Hello everybody, I'm your head golf professional, Tim Harris. The video you just saw is a common everyday occurrence now as golf courses around the country since the onset of this pandemic have mandated single cart riding. Now while there are some clear advantages of single cart riding where everybody of course enjoys the pace of play, that's a definitely a benefit to single cart riding, there also have been some negative effects to single cart riding and that's mostly the amount of traffic that the golf course sees because of four carts being out there at one time on a hole. And you think about how many times there are tee times out there and how many players there are. We're approaching now close to 300 rounds a day out here at Pelican Sound. You can imagine what that can do to the turf. So I'm joined today by Mike Bailey, who's a member of Pelican Sound and also serves on the uh, Golf and Greens Committee. He's going to speak to you a little bit about what kind of effects the wear and tear have on the golf course and maybe some of the remedies that we can do to help keep the course looking good. Mike? Thank you, Tim. We are concerned about compaction on the golf course, and we have some ideas that possibly can make compaction be um, a factor that we don't have to worry about so much because we are concerned about the golf course. And right now, we have ropes, we have signage, we have an entrance sign and exit signs, and uh, things for us to play golf uh, with our golf carts, and we are singles. We have a lot of single golf carts out there. Uh, one of the misnomers that exists is that you're supposed to enter where the enter sign is and you're supposed to exit where the exit sign is. Actually, it means that you cannot enter the golf course until you go past the enter sign and you can't exit uh, and you need to enter before the exit sign. What happens a lot of times is that the carts spend a lot of time on the fairways uh, as opposed to uh, the 90 degree rule that if you take a look in our rules and regulations uh, for Pelican Sound actually exists. So what we want to talk to you about today is that 90 degree rule where compaction can be reduced by a player who drives out to their tee shot, drives over to their tee shot on the fairway and returns to the cart path. So these players are using the cart path as much as possible. And that's what we'd like to have you do. Uh, we have different types of players out here of caliber and of length of tee shots. So it's gonna be different for everybody. Judgment is important when you're doing this, but we'd like to bring back the 90 degree rule. We are going to keep the enter and exit stakes in place for you. But when you're playing golf now, be conscious of what the 90 degree rule can do for you. Thank you. So, very well put. We're standing right now on sound hole number nine. And uh, if you can see right here, there's a lot of yellowness to the turf. And that is where we have the enter sign marked right now. So, over the last few days, all of the traffic that has been coming out here have been entering the golf course in this one location. Now, Johnny and his crew are doing a, as good a job as they can to keep moving those enter stakes, moving those exit stakes so you don't see a lot of compaction. But because we are single cart riding for the most part, you're starting to see the wear and tear a lot sooner out there on the golf course. So as you can see, the compaction is already happening here. So as Mike was alluding to, you know, we want everyone to take that into account when they're out there playing. Use the golf cart path as much as you can. There's no reason that you have to enter at the exit sign and go right to your ball if your ball is another 100 yards down the fairway. You can use the cart path enter in from the side at a 90 degree angle, it will help save the turf that is out there. And that's really what it's all about. We all want to keep our golf course looking great. So if everyone does their part and, and keeps that in mind, then we can have a better chance of keeping the golf course looking nice and green. We're also going to go down toward the exit sign on this hole here in a second. We're going to show you some of the wear and tear that's taking place down there too, just so you can get a good visual. Okay, so now we're over here by the exit sign, which is near the sound green, not uh, the green of sound nine, excuse me. Uh, so you can see definitely some wear and tear going on here where the exit is um, as players exit the fairway and go towards the cart path and up towards the green. Um, so again, if we could have everybody, for the most part, use the cart path when you can, as much as you can. Enter the fairway, 
from a 90 degree angle to your ball, hit your shot, and then go back to the uh, cart path, it would help save a lot of compaction out there on the golf course. Now, I have a special message out there to all of our handicapped cart drivers, okay? Pay attention to this because you have a very important role in all this also. What I've been seeing out there a lot of times is that you've been driving your golf cart up the fairway, which we tell you to do, nothing wrong with that. But as you go past the exit signs, you're driving up the approach to the green until you get to the blue disc. I would just implore to you and encourage you, please exit just like everybody else, drive up the cart path and then enter to the blue disc from the side, okay? That's how we wanted you to do it in the first place. You all have your booklets out there that show you where the blue discs are. Please don't drive your golf cart up the approach and, for, and definitely do not park your golf cart on the approach. You're supposed to park to the sides. The blue discs are to the sides. They're either 360 or 180, depending on the shape of the green. And, and please do your best because even the handicap carts that are out there are, are being doubled up on some of the holes, okay? So we wanna make sure that the grass is looking good. We wanna make sure that all the hard work that Johnny and his maintenance crew out there um, is, is for naught. We wanna keep the course looking green. We want everyone to have a great season going forward. We don't know how long this is gonna last. The pandemic is still going on. So for now, single cart riding is still allowed, just like it is in a lot of golf courses throughout this country and probably the world for that matter. So we all need to do our best to keep that in mind and to keep our golf course looking great. So Mike, I appreciate you coming out here. Um, folks, I hope everybody got some good information on that. I'm gonna attach a diagram to this video as well. Please do some reading on that. And we hope to see you out there on the golf course, helping us out, following the rules and keeping the golf course looking great. Thanks everyone.